The only way out is through. Okay? You can go at your own pace. You, I, I highly recommend you get support along the way, but running from the problem is not going to fix it. All right, today we're gonna to be talking about weighing yourself every single day and whether or not that's a good tool for learning about your weight patterns. Before we get started with that though, your mental health is severely affected by weighing yourself every single day and you don't have someone coaching you through the process, it's probably not the best thing for you right now. That being said, weighing yourself every single day consistently for you know 14, 21, 30 days can teach you a lot about how the scale measures your weight and how your weight fluctuates. Now, if you aren't aware of how your weight fluctuates and you're not aware of what type of weight it is that's fluctuating, it can be very easy to get in your head that every time the scale goes up, you are inherently getting fatter, that you are putting body fat into your body and you're going the wrong direction. I understand how that can be derailing mentally because you think that because the scale goes up that you're doing something wrong. Let me tell you something that's really important and I want you to really pay attention to this. Most of my clients' weight goes up even when they're eating less calories. Why is that happening? There's a lot of different things. A lot of my clients are exercising at the same time while they're also in a calorie deficit. If you're exercising, your weight is going to either stay the same or go up. When you work out, your body creates an inflammatory response and that response as sort of a side effect holds onto water in your body. So if you are exercising and you're eating right and you step on the scale and your weight either isn't going down or it's possibly even going up a little bit, do not freak out. This is extremely normal. On the other side of the coin, I've had clients that either eat to maintenance or eat slightly above their calorie needs for the day and their weight goes down. So you gotta realize that your weight is not a one-to-one -one relationship with the things that you are doing with your nutrition and your exercise. If you eat less calories one day, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to go down in the scale the next day. Not a one-to-one -one relationship. The sooner you can get that in your head and you can start really believing it, and sometimes it takes coaching to get through that, the accountability and the education about how the scale works, the sooner you can get through that, the easier stepping on the scale and just looking at it as another number is going to be. Another thing that's really important is to understand that daily changes in the scale mean absolutely nothing. The reason why you weigh yourself every single day is so that at the end of a long string of weighing yourself every day, so 21 to 30 days, probably at the least, you can see patterns that help you understand what your weight is doing, and it can also show you a trend over time. Now you can do this with weighing yourself less frequently. So maybe every single day doesn't work for you. Try three times a week. Try a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. So long as you are weighing yourself enough so that at the end of the rope or the end of the, the line for that month or for that time period, you have some data. Even me saying this, I know you're still gonna have some difficulties with weighing yourself every single day. And I want you to know that that pain in that moment is necessary for understanding the long-term goal. Listen, it's not going to be easy mentally to, come, to overcome things that are very challenging mentally, okay? Maybe you have a direct re uh, relationship with your weight and your worth. I've gotten lots of, of clients tell me that a lot of times their weight is what determines their worth. And it's, it really saddens me that that is, is something that you've been you know, uh, sort of afflicted with or it's something that's penetrated your mental state and your psyche. But I also want to tell you that you can be coached out of that. The only way out is through. And you can go at your own pace. You, I, I highly recommend you get support along the way. But running from the problem is not going to fix it. Okay, running from the problem is not going to fix it. So what you need to do is to your best ability is slightly challenge yourself to weigh yourself more often, but also take your mental health into consideration. Trust me when I say that I do not want you to sacrifice your mental health just to learn how the scale works, unless you can kind of balance both of them, all right? That's why having support and having a coach is important, or, or having support of any kind. I'm not saying you have to buy coaching in order to learn about how to weigh yourself, but when you have support through the process and you have someone who's experienced enough to teach you what's going on so that you, that mental state that you a lot of times struggle with isn't as severe, and someone who knows the process that you trust that can give you what you need to hear in those difficult moments, okay? So if you're afraid of the scale, being afraid of it and avoiding it is not going to solve the problem. The scale can provide information if you know how to use it right. It's also a very cheap and useful tool for doing so. If you look at a lot of those body fat scanners out there, they're really expensive. And the ones that are cheap are not accurate. Trust me, I've tried a few of them. This is what you can do to make things easier for yourself. Weigh yourself as frequently during the week as you can. If that's three days, great. If it's seven days, great, okay? 
Do that consistently for at least a month, 21 to 30 days. If you want, you can send me your results if you have it on a graph and I will tell you if what you are doing is correct. I'll tell you if you wanna save some time, if, you're, if your first day of weighing is heavier than your last day of weighing yourself, then you are going down the right direction, okay? You are on the right path. You are having a downward trend. If your weight is pretty much flatlined, where maybe there's like a one pound difference, you are probably, if not definitely, eating at a calorie maintenance level, or maybe slightly above it, okay? Nothing to worry about, just need to adjust your calories. If your first day of weighing is lighter than your last day of weighing, meaning the trend is upward, then you are eating more calories than you are burning, which is also really useful information. That tells you, hey, your calories are too high. Bring them down a little bit, okay? Even if, that, if you bring it down to what would be probably a maintenance in the future, that can make a big difference, all right? Thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you in a future video. It was hell, hugging on my mama from a jail cell. And we think in elementary. Hey, I see the penitentiary one day. Running from the police, that's right. Mama cast me for the book to my backside. And even as a crack fiend, mama, you always was a black queen.